Somebody said, do you feel, because of the Me Too and Time Up, that you can make work like this now, or be more expressive about yourself? I have always done this, and I've always been an advocate of women being able to tell how it feels. If you've been raped, you scream your head off, and you will be heard, and there's a very good chance it won't happen again. Okay. You have an abortion, and it goes wrong, because you didn't have the right aftercare and you scream about it, there is a very good chance it won't happen again. You keep your mouth shut because you're ashamed and you say nothing, there is a chance that you will be abused again and again and again. If you're with a partner who hits you and you say nothing, you will be hit and beaten for the rest of your life. If you're sexually abused as a child and you say nothing, chances are you'll be, continue to be sexually abused for the rest of your life. And that's what I was talking about. And that's what I've been talking about for the last 35 years when I've been making my work. And I think I'm really grateful to the Me Too and Time Out movement because now women who never had a voice are coming forward and talking. But I have always been an advocate of it and I've always been talking about it. And that's what I've been saying. Well, the exhibition's called A Fortnight of Tears. And I've had the title for about 15 years, but I've never used it. And a couple of years ago, my mum died and um, I've never cried so much in all my life and I thought this is the time to use this title and so essentially the show is about big emotional moments in my life good or bad, hell or happy this kind of combination of this big sort of like emotional kind of um, churning, uh, reworking, awakening just a big sort of emotional kind of time bomb that's been let off in the gallery really. You know, I'm 55 and I've got another 30 or so years left working, maybe 20 physically working really hard. So I've got to make the most of it. I can't, can't mess around anymore. Not that it's more serious, I'm more focused. When you're young, you think you're going to live forever, okay? You take risk on all sorts of things. You don't care so much about anything. You know, you can muck up, you can make mistakes. It's fine because you've got the rest of your life to put it right. When you get to my age, you haven't got the rest of your life. You only have the rest of your life to get it right, but you haven't got all your life. So that's what I mean. You know, I'm, I'm homing in on what's really important to me now. That's what I'm doing. <laughs>